I miss Symphogear. Gear. It was a show of pure fun that all throughout its five seasons kept me entertained. It wasn't just spectacle either, but a show that really drew me into its grand story and to its cast of broken but interesting characters. There really is no show quite like Symphogear, Gear, but there are a few that come close. So, if, like me, you have been wanting more Simpho gear in your lives, here are five shows I would recommend. Let me know if any other shows that you would recommend since I'm excited to try them out. These shows are a lot of fun. Number one is going to be The Twin Tale. This is another absurd magical girl show, this time focusing on the main guy's love for Twin Tails. And because most people don't watch my videos all the way through, I put this at number one so I would at least tell you to watch Twin Tails before you go. Beyond the overall ridiculousness of both shows, what Twin Tails and Symphogear have in common is how self-aware they are. Twin Tails is the type of show that knows exactly what it wants to be in the fan base that it is targeting. There are also some similarities with the characters struggling against family expectations, plus the character designs look very similar, so that just gives them a stylistic a similarity. There are some differences though with Twin Tails focusing more on its themes while Symphogear was all about driving the plot forward. Symphogear also has five seasons while Twin Tails only has one, which saddens me greatly, but maybe if I keep telling people to watch Twin Tails, they will see it deserves a season two. I can only hope. Number two is Gurren Lagann, so I could probably put any Imaishi work here as well. Gurren Lagann is a ridiculous mech anime that has an ever-increasing scale, not unlike Symphogear. It's all about yelling with manly determination to do the impossible, which isn't unlike Symphogear that has singing instead of the manly yelling. Plus, I am pretty sure that Hibiki's drill attack in seasons 4 and 5 were inspired by all the drills in Gurren Lagann. Simone in Gurren Lagann is also all about moving forward with this drill, and the Symphogears are are all about moving forward in a straight line. Yeah, these shows are pretty much identical, it's just that one is a mech and the other is a magical girl anime. So if you like one, you will probably like the other. Number three is Vivid Red Operation, which channels the pure fun of Simpho Gear and pushes that as far as it can. It also takes the unnecessary fan service in Simpho Gear and pushes it as far as it can. These have to be the shortest shorts I've ever seen in anime. Anyway, Vivid Dread Operation is a magical girl show about these girls who fight monsters cold the alone. I would explain the plot more, but it doesn't matter. This show is all about the fun, and it is a lot of fun. It's probably the most stupid anime I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of anime, but that stupidity is what makes it so much fun. Number four is Fate Khalid Prisma Ilya, and of the ones on the list, it's probably the one that is most like Symfo Gear. At first glance, they are very similar. They're both absurd magical girl shows with great action. The main difference is that Fate Khalid is a spinoff of the Fate series while Simpho Gear is its own thing. But as I started to watch more of both of them, I saw their similarities go much deeper as well. Mainly the characters come from tragic pasts, and it's thanks to the determination and friendship of the main character that they are able to overcome. Both shows also have a vast lore, and a lot of the lore in Simpho Gear feels like something out of fate. Both shows also get darker as we get more into them, especially in the final season of Simpho Gear in the movie of Khalid. Though despite this dark storytelling, both animes still come back to the ideas of friendship and fighting the impossible alongside each other. And lastly, Fruits Basket. This is probably the strangest pick for my list because on the surface, they seem to have nothing in common. Simpho Gear is an action show while Fruits Basket is a drama. But at a thematic level, they have a lot in common. Simpho Gear describes itself as a story told by hands held in hands. Plus, it's a story of wanting to connect and use that connection to escape the change of the past while also taking a hold of the future with your own hands. Then Simpho Gear is also about learning from mistakes and getting back on your feet every time you fail. At its core, this is also the story of Fruits Basket. They also share a lot in common with all the characters coming from broken families in one way or another, but being able to move beyond that pain with the help of their friends. So yeah, these shows have a lot of differences, but despite that, they have a lot in common too. Plus, they are two of my favorite anime ever, so if you're like me, and you like one, you'll probably like the other. Or you'll just think I'm weird. That's okay too. So, that is my list of five shows like Simpho Gear. Let me know which other ones you think are like it, because I want to try those and see what else is out there that is as fun as Simpho Gear.